close your eyes and think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for happiness, your happiness and the happiness of others. Because happiness has to come from within. It can't depend on things outside. If it depends on things outside, it's going to be unstable. You can't trust it. It comes and it goes and it's outside of your power. And that kind of happiness is just ravages the mind. What you want is happiness that gives well-being to the mind. And that comes from within. So we think thoughts of goodwill to remind ourselves that we want to find a happiness that doesn't harm anybody else's happiness either. Because if our happiness harms theirs, they're not going to stand for it. We see this all around us. People trying to find happiness in wealth, happiness in status, happiness in praise, happiness in lo having lots of pleasant things. But the problem with that kind of happiness, if it's somebody gains, somebody else has to lose. You gain wealth, somebody else loses. You gain status, somebody else loses that. That kind of happiness creates divisions. We want happiness that doesn't create divisions, that actually overcomes divisions. That's why we practice the Dharma. When you're generous, okay, you benefit, other people benefit too. When you observe the precepts, you avoid things like killing and stealing and lying. You benefit, other ben people benefit. When you meditate, get your mind more under control. You benefit, and other people are less subject to your greed, aversion, and delusion. So this is a happiness that spreads the happiness around, that overcomes divisions. It comes from developing skills inside. So when you think thoughts of goodwill, that what it, that's what it means. You hope that you develop the skills you need to find a happiness that doesn't create trouble for you. That thought should always underlie all your meditation, all your practice, because this happiness is a hard one to find. I mean, it's, it's available, it's easy, but there's so many other influences out there that pull you in other directions. People have things they want to sell to you. They want to make you think that you need those things, whereas, whereas you really don't. You can be more content by developing the skills you need inside, more content and more independent. And independent happiness, that's really good. Harms nobody, doesn't create any trouble, and it's under your control. That's the kind of happiness you want.